Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Dane Keeps' newest switch called the Cookies and Cream Tactile Switch. Now, they did sponsor this video, but that does not change my opinion on these switches in the slightest. This is a tactile switch with a polycarbonate top housing, a nylon bottom housing, a palm stem, a gold-plated 63.5 gram spring, and it has a total travel distance of four millimeters. It is also five pin and comes lightly pre-lubed. So on paper, this switch sounds really good. And honestly, when you actually use it, it does not disappoint. It feels very nice and smooth. The tactile bump is medium when it comes to how harsh it is, and it is a round bump. So I think it's good for people who haven't really used tactiles before. Maybe they wanna try a tactile switch out. This could be a potential gateway two tactile switches. I honestly think it sounds very nice. It's on the creamy clackier side of things. And overall, it just is a pleasant typing experience. Here's a quick sound test. You guys can hear how it sounds stock. So like I said before, these switches definitely sound and feel really good, but there are two issues I did want to cover because I feel like they are very important. The first issue I had was the fact that the springs had a lot of ping to them. So I think that is the biggest complaint I could think of when it comes to the switch because it does feel and sound good minus the spring ping of course. Now the other issue I had with these switches is the fact that there is some ticking just in general with these switches, I thought my stabilizers were like bad or like not lubed or tuned correctly, but it was actually just coming from the switch itself. So that might be a problem if you aren't planning on lubing these switches. I think the stock performance of these switches is decent at best, but I think the two biggest problems you'd have with this switch would definitely go away if you lube them. Now, overall, I still think these are a great option. I do think these are better than Akko's offerings, but Akko does also offer their switches hand lubes but I just am not a fan of Akko's weights. I feel like they can be way too light. I think 63.5 grams in a switch is a great middle ground. I think that is probably one of the best weights or one of my favorite weights for a switch to use. If you are planning on getting them, I do recommend lubing them. Other than that, I'll be leaving a link to them in the description below and let me know what you guys think about these switches in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.